Okay, welcome back everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, appreciate it. I'll pick up where I last left off and uh, basically um, I did take time to read the manual. And in this particular case, Manuel is wonderful. He actually does something. Uh, isn't that wonderful? So, uh, he actually comes with a, an extra guide here to help you, a, a setup, a quick setup. And it tells you everything. So, I kind of went over everything just by looking at it, but there's one particular piece that you probably want to pay attention to, and it's this right here. So you see that right there? And there's a little diagram right there. So, um, apparently within the um, magazine clip holder, um, there is, when you pull that lever, uh, there's a little opening right there where that red circle is. And basically you're going to see something like this. And there's a hex, what do they call it? Hex bolt? Yeah. So you got a hex bolt, and it's in the position of 21 degrees. And then there's three holes, 21, 28, and 23, or 24. So there's three holes for it. And you need to basically unscrew and rescrew them to the appropriate degree that you're in. On top of setting the pin, which here. So you also have to set the pin. And we obviously saw that, but wondering how do you put it in? Well, apparently that there's a washer. Yeah, can you see that? And that washer is not metal. It's, it looks looks like a rubber. So you you can take it off and then remove the pin that way. You don't unscrew it or anything. It's just free-floating, held up by some kind of rubber washer that seems to just slip oh, you know, in and out of that little grooved uh, rod, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but... So you have to do that, and then you also have to do this, which is basically, as we saw already, to adjust the angle on the magazine clip or the magazine, I should say. And so, another thing here is the uh, tip screw that can be adjusted. And also the rubber cover. Uh, you can actually take that off and it's a little spiked um, nose tip on it. Let me see if I can show that to you. I'm blocking the light, of course, but that's all right. There we go. You can kind of see it. There you go. So you see the uh, the teeth right there. So you could take off the rubber cover on on the tip here, and they'll have a teeth cover as you see there. So you can get a better grip. So that's one thing we did not know until we read Manuel. So Manuel comes in very, very handy this time. Um, very, very proud of Manuel because usually, sometimes, well, a lot of times he's, he's kind of useless. Um, so, and then here, that piece right there. Uh, and you can see the little slots. I don't know how accurate that is. Uh, like I said, this is kind of... The magazine clip is offset. See how it's... I'm, I'm pointing it straight, and the magazine clip is coming off to the left. And so, it's kind of weird because you got the... Let me see if I could hold that up here. You got the... Uh, you got uh, this thing right here, which is coming at a different angle, and then you got the back end here coming at a different angle, so it doesn't really quite line up. So I'm not sure how that how that's going to work as far as you measuring things. It's kind of nice to have at least some kind of line or groove. Maybe it's kind of just slips into one of the groove or not. I'm not sure, but you're going to need a hex wrench. 
to work with all this. Um, so, and once you know it, today I actually got some hex wrenches. Um, bought some really at a good price. Of course, you know where. Uh, both um, standard and metric. Um, so that's, and it has a little washer. Looks like a little washer. So, hopefully, I don't have to adjust it. It's set comes out of the box set at 21 degrees and that's something that we seems like a little bent but maybe not so that okay, I'm just making sure on this on the spring I'm not jerking off or anything I'm just checking but man seems like I might looks like I am but I'm not so Anyways, uh, and then the part that we missed earlier, that if you didn't read the thing, and, it, and there's some directions right here, of course, it tells you, it tells you, you know, right here as well. You yeah. know, so hopefully you're not going to miss it. You could easily miss it because here's the, uh, here's the clip. I pulled it back. So you, to release it, there's a button right, right here. So you pull it, release, look at that, it goes all the way up. So it has a little rubber, rubber handle to it, which is nice. But basically it's going to be in this slot that you're going to see it. So if, when, you see, when it's all the way up here, you're not going to be able to see it. So basically you have to pull this back out here. And then just pull it all the way until it catches onto the clip. There you go. It's caught onto the clip. And then there, there it is, right there. And if we zoom in here, hopefully it, uh, you can see it. Maybe not. I can see some numbers. There you go. Are you seeing some numbers? You're able to see some numbers, so it's it's already set at 21. Then you got 28. Excuse me, right here, 28 in this hole. And there's three holes it's for you to put it in. Well, I should call them three holes. They're all it's it's just an empty space here. It's just one round, one round space here. Let me see if I can get another. It's just one space here, and then one space here, and just there's just a slot for it that's round that you just tighten and you can move in. So there you go. That's kind of what we, what you all missed out from last time, from just viewing it. But because of Manuel here and his quick reference guide, we're we're able to uh, um, we're able to catch up on a lot of things really quickly and then on the back side it just tells you how to do a safety test on it which we're gonna do and uh, I did check the CFM on this at 90 it's 0.6 at 40 it's 1 CFM so it's not gonna really power this because it says it average CFM is 3 at 90 psi so um, but let's let's give it a try shall we um, Guess it couldn't hurt too much. Oh yeah, you know what? What do you know? It comes with Allen wrenches. All right, so have these. But I'm probably gonna have my own set anyway. So it looks like that's why you got three different Allen wrenches. So the three different setups. Yeah, it makes sense, huh? And then there's oil. So I'm not gonna use this oil because uh, I got my own oil that I'm gonna use first. So let's put you in the holster real quick. I'm running low on batteries. And uh, I'm just going to give it a dry test run. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get the oil out here first. All right. So this is kind of what I've been using. So I'll use this. Just a little inlet here to... Uh, okay. 
So I'm sorry if you can't see it. It's a big machine. I'll do a couple of drops. Do a lot of drops actually, just to make sure that it's done. Okay, and I'm just gonna. Try it on the three gallon pancake first, and let's see how that works out. And then I'm going to grab my scrap and see how, how it does here. So, uh, well, since there's nothing, there's no nails in it, so I'm not going to I'm not going to worry about it too much. So, all right, let me set this baby up, let me, uh, okay. I'll let you guys out here, so I think I can do the rest with one hand, let me clean you off a little bit, there we go, there we go, and uh, let's turn this up. So I'm going to get this is 60 to 70, 60 to 100, never exceeding 120. But let's do, well, let's just do 80 then. Oh, got to turn it on. Sorry, cover your ears. <laughs> There's 100 PSI's, probably like more like 95, in the tank, and then I got it set at 80. And first of all, uh, let me put my safety glasses on because um, where the hell is my safety glasses? <sighs> Tell me I lost my safety glasses already. Uh, maybe I did. Hmm. Should be another set around here somewhere. Okay. Strange. No, no. They're on my head. So, hmm. funny. Alright, so, um... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of run the test. And first of all, it should not shoot anything. Okay. It shouldn't shoot anything if there's nothing on it, if it's not depressed. Check. Okay. Let's check. Excuse me. Okay. So, with nothing in it, not depressed, should not shoot anything. So you put it down. It should not shoot. Good. So the only time it should shoot is if you depress it and then you pull the trigger. Ooh. Okay, so you all heard that. All right. And then if you push pull the trigger again, you're not able to shoot again. And and it actually says do not, you know, pull trigger repeatedly. You know, like up and down, up and down, initiating the uh, the head uh, 
the rubber head and then pulling the trigger. Um, so it says, but in reality we're, we're going to really do that. So it should not pull. So once it's been engaged and, and you left it there, you can't, you can't be, it won't shoot again. And then you have to release it and it's not supposed to shoot and then test it again. Okay. So, okay, well, you know what, it, it might possibly work. Let's see the indentation on this. That's the indentation that it left behind. Let's see some shadows here. So that's kind of what it left behind. And of course that's going to drive the nail in through right there. So, um, well, let's try it again. It should not, it is heavy, uh, it should not engage. Pushing it down, it should not engage, okay, and then should not engage, and then lift up, should not engage, good. And by the way, there's an exhaust here, apparently, and then you can uh, change that left to right. So if it's blowing in your face, you probably want to turn it the other way, whatever works for you. So there you go. It's big, massive, and very heavy. Um, man, when you get a full nail magazine clip in here, um, it's going to be interesting to see how heavy this really thing is. This thing really is. But it's a three-in-one, and uh, depending on what I need or how much the nails are so that's kinda why I got it but it could be too heavy who knows it's massive it is massive if you're just doing this all day you can definitely just get oh, on a ladder you know just get tired of just pushing this thing in and out and it's 12 pounds and already my muscles are getting sore just doing this demo here for you. So let's try it one more time. And that's the indentation it left right there. There we go. So that's the indentation right there for that one. And that's the indentation right there. So it's pushing something. Let's do another one. Sorry, my the PSI is not set high enough on this, so we've got to there. 80. I guess 80 to push it at 40 doesn't do anything. I probably didn't check the uh, the pressure on the on the regulator on on this side here. Make sure it's 80. So now that I look at it, I mean it's it's left quite a indentation here compared to my first one, which I probably didn't verify the psi pressure. So looking at this, I mean it could be possible could be possible that this this little three gallon you know, can drive nails with this. It could be possible. I'm gonna I'm gonna field test it. So there's there's an update for you. Stay tuned on that one. 
So um, my I'm pretty much done here. Here's my review on it, or my final my final thing is that uh, it's pretty good. Um, I got it um, at a really good price, considering it's three in one. And uh, I kind of like getting three in ones because I'm trying to you know get my value of uh, on a tool. Um, so if let's say they don't have 21 degree angle nails, I can get a 28 or 30, 34. I can use those. Uh, I'll just have to adjust it. Yeah, I, I haven't tried the other nails, uh, nail guns yet. I might, might, you know. But this is my first, and uh, it's big. It's heavy. But considering, I guess, uh, the nails, the type of nails it drives, I guess it has to be pretty big and heavy. Um, the other boxes for the other nail guns are just as big, so um, they're probably just as big and heavy as as this. So my my review on this is I haven't quite used it, but right now I, I'm looking at it, and uh, there could be a possibility that I can use a three gallon with this nailer and that's going to be a big plus for me, Excuse me. I'm going to try to, there you go focus um, I'm going to try to you know test it out I'm going to my friend's house and repairing her house um, of course uh, I will also be bringing oops, excuse me I don't know why it doesn't light up but I'll be bringing this guy too. There we go. Just need some light. Uh, I'll be bringing this guy as well, just in case. And uh, you know, I got to do a door repair as well. So I got to repair a door. Uh, I don't know if they want me to paint it or not. Um, I'm going to be taking the table saw with me. I have a whole episode series on the table saw. So um, apparently, I got to bevel the door so it can close. Um, I got to do quite a bit of things. Um, I'll try to videotape it. Um, to give you guys an update on the tools in use and now these tools are making money for me and which is awesome instead of me paying for them they'll actually pay for me to use it all right awesome so this concludes the uh, this episode series this is an excellent buy if you're thinking about it go ahead and do it because if you're not too happy with it or if you don't like it after a while, uh, return it. That's all I got to say. Uh, just a warning that it, it is big and it is heavy. So if this is something that you're going to be using all the time, every time, if you want to develop good arm muscles, this is great. Um, you will develop a pretty good arm muscles. But if this is too much for you and you don't think you can handle it, I don't know if you want to get something this big. I'm just saying. But for the occasional use, sure. Um, and again, I'm going to test it out with this three gallon, so you don't have to have a big monster like like that to uh, to have one of these if you're using it for occasional use. Um, you can use it with a three gallon. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and thanks for tuning in. Um, view my other channels or view my channel and see some other videos. Click on some ads. Uh, that that really helps out. You don't have to do anything with it. Just click on it. Um, another thing you guys can do is subscribe and you will get my feeds instantly. And so if there's something here that you liked but you still are waiting because you want to know how it really works. Well, you know, if you subscribe, you can get the feeds to my updates on field test. So, thanks a lot, everyone, and stay tuned. Bye. Looking at it, but there's one particular piece that you probably want to pay attention to, and it's this right here. You see that right there? And there's a little diagram right there. So, um... Apparently, within the um, magazine clip holder, 
Um, there is, when you pull that lever, setting the pin, which here. So you also have to set the pin. And we obviously saw that, but wondering how do you put it in. Well, apparently that there's a washer. Yeah, like you see that. And that washer is not metal. It's, it looks looks like a rubber. So you you can take it off and then remove the pin that way. You don't unscrew it or anything. It's just free floating, hold, held up by some kind of rubber washer that seems to just slip o you know in and out of that little grooved uh, rod I guess I don't know how to explain it but so you have to do that and then you also have to do this which is basically as we saw already to adjust the angle on the magazine clip or the magazine I should say and so another thing here is the uh, tip screw that can be adjusted okay welcome back everybody thanks for tuning in uh, appreciate it I'll pick up where I last left off and uh, basically um, I did take time to read the manual and in this particular case Manuel is wonderful he actually does something uh, isn't that wonderful so uh, he actually comes with a, an extra guide here to help you a, a set up a quick setup and it tells you everything so I kind of went over everything just by looking. Uh, there's a little opening right there where that red circle is. And basically you're going to see something like this. And there's a hex, what do they call it? Hex bolt? Yeah. So you got a hex bolt and it's in the position of 21 degrees. And then there's three holes, 21, 28, and 23, or 24. So there's three holes for it. And you need to basically unscrew and rescrew them to the appropriate degree that you're in on top of uh, 